Hi guys, welcome back to the Cat Lady. Um, where are we now? I don't know. Hold on, let me check our map. Check map. Um, no, we're on the we're on the, like the top top floor because that's the baby carriage next to us. Um, okay, I don't think we haven't we we've done anything yet. Just looking at it is painful. This is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and until recently a busy hotelier. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard, but there was a baby crying. So let's talk to her. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. You can't? Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. Okay. That's what we'll All do. Right. Okay, so we gotta find something to talk to her about. Um, there's cables here, so on. These okay. These cables are hanging loose. I don't think it's very safe. If I could pull them out, I'd cut the electricity off for both flats. Unfortunately, they're too firmly attached to the meter. talk to her now oh it's just a trip fuse don't worry I'll just flip this oh, switch and we're back on Jesse can we talk to you for a second sure sure but not right now I'm right in the middle of something I was gonna say no okay who's this guy again okay the guy with the I'm assuming uh what the heck was that? So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check everyone. I know. I'm okay, um, what do we have in our inventory? Okay, let's go back, um, let's go back to the first floor, the ground floor, and see what we can do. She lives in flat two with that stinky mongrel of hers. I can't remember her real name. I've always called her the dog lady. Need to say we're not the best of friends, but we usually do our best not to show it. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. This whole place and is I'm unsanitary. Sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. My god. They always gathered round it like it's their shrine. Okay, so there's definitely it something up with that sofa. It's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time neck. I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Um. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning blah, 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 to wonder blah, blah. if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. 
And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't hurt him most of the time. That's because you're a bad old lady. Often gets lost. Oh, I'm no. telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth. The cat lady, we all know what you do. I'm sick, sick of this cat inside too. Said he will get in, in touch, touch with, with animal control things on proof. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. He'll have to talk to the... I hear they've run out of business recently. <laughs> then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. I have to go now. See you later. See you later, alligator. Looks heavy. I think it's meant to be storage place for cleaning products, vases, and junk mail. Those who have lived here in this house as long as me will know there's actually a door to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore. It's not safe, apparently. There's something useful inside, just piles and piles of leaflets. I could push a camera away, but I don't really want to be seen. You won't give her this is witch child. Okay, so. Some put fresh fig flowers in a vase to brighten up this grim looking hall. They're like a bunch of roses on a long forgotten tree. one grief. day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. Smell them. Ugh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful. <laughs> oh, no Susan's real. giving sass. Now we have a piece of glass. Oh, I think I know what we can do. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Um, let's go up to the first floor. Come on, Mitzi. I think we can, yeah, open what was ever in the sofa. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. Why is it in their sofa It has before? the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. <laughs> Oh, what a shame they moved out. Okay, so... Mm, what can we do with this? Can we examine this? It's heart medicine, but for some reason cat finds it irresistible. I've been more since left it there, so the cats would annoy their neighbor. It seems they weren't very fond of her. Okay, right. I think we're getting closer. Okay, now what? Can we... Come on, guys. The party moved over here. Okay, and this is gonna make the old lady. Where are they? This is A. Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Let's go, guys. We're so smart. I almost didn't smell the flowers because I thought Susan wouldn't want to, but I did. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. Please do. Oh, he 
was a cute, I thought it was gonna be like a little rat dog or something. Are you sure the cat'll be all right? What about the dog? These cats can easily outrun some old mutt. Okay. Can we take the broom? We can. Just in case. Okay. Cabinet. Push. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. <laughs> Susan. There. The door everyone's forgotten about. How convenient. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah. Now she's calling her Mrs. Am. instead of Mrs. supply for the whole building that can be switched off from here there's no need to do that now though okay we'll take this extension cord I guess for some reason uh, it hasn't been used for many years all flats have central heating these days it can't be open by hand I'll need a crank sweet It's red, the color of blood. The lid is stuck dried up paint is holding it firmly to the glue. I'll need some tool to prise it open. Uh, okay, what else do we have over here? Quiet Haven Hotel, never heard of it. What is the sign doing down here anyway? It's actually pretty funny. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from flat six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. That's a really nice dress, He deserves though. to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? The cat widow? No, can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. <laughs> what? Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Yep. You really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. Should a good crazy? costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. A tin of red paint. Red paint? There's a tin here. We could use that. Mutilated. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Okay. Okay, the dress to make it black, we can put that in the coal. Is there anything else over here? Oh, what's this? Strange, this wall looks fresh. Okay, hold on, let's come back to that in a minute. Um, what a pretty, what's a pretty dress? Okay, what else we got on the other side over here? That's it? Okay. Um, do we have anything to open this with? No. Can we break down this wall? Um, hmm. Okay, so 
So what do we need? Well, basically. Okay, this is, oh, darn. Red. We need to do that again. We need. Okay, so we need something to open this. Um, no. No. And the black dress. No. Um. Hmm. Can we get scissors and a mask? Look, she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. Do we have to control Mitzi now? Why couldn't we go into her flat? It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay, I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Yay. Okay. Let's go. I can't go in. Um. Let's just check again here. Oh, we still have to get up there. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. <laughs> you just called her a wacko. Uh, let's take a look at this. A black porcelain cat with mouth open. It wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I probably have enough of these already. Right. What a strange tiny play. What happened to the good old I doormat? see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Just be nice, Susan. Jesus. Oh, there's something with the socket. We're probably gonna have to plug it into something. Uh, okay, nothing here. Table. It's rotten through. Okay. So now we have a key to flat three, which was who? Yeah, the Davises. Okay, let's see if we can get in there. Oh god, here are my ghost my dogs. But you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. We've been playing for about 20 minutes, I think. Um, but next episode, we will go into flat number three. Thanks for watching!